Hello and welcome back to more Chainsaw Man. Yesterday I binged this show. Today I am here with episode 10. Now obviously you guys are like, she binged it, but she's posting like one at a time and blah blah blah. I know, it's all very confusing. For me though, I rewatched episode one to five because I'd already reacted to that in Japanese. And then I reacted to the next four episodes. It was like a good book. I just couldn't put it down, especially when I got to episodes eight and nine. I just, I felt like the entire show just kind of changed at that point. It was just madness. Makima is very much alive. I'm kind of gonna go back to where I was at in my earlier reactions and say my trust with her, I don't know, man. She knew that something bad was coming. She wouldn't tell us the extent of what she knew, but she knew. And then we found out that she also has contracts with numerous demons, which obviously explains how she died and then came back to life. Now, upon re-watching episode eight, no, episode nine, she actually said to the two people when she got to Kyoto, she was like, no, no, it's not my blood. Um, I didn't get shot, you know, I managed to get away kind of thing. And I didn't actually twig that until I re-watched it. And I thought, hmm. So even they don't know, because it did kind of touch on that as well, that they don't know what contracts she has so therefore she's just making it out that she wasn't shot she didn't die and like all of that kind of stuff suspicious she's suspicious and denji is currently still very much chainsaw man but he has been cut in half like what are we supposed to do stitch him back together I, I don't understand how we're supposed to help him. <laughs> Pochita, do something. What can you do? And Kobani is the one who is holding him just now, apologizing for trying to stab him all those episodes ago. Everything is nuts just now. The one thing I know is that Aki is A-OK. -okay. Yay! Even though he lost his partner in a very tragic way but at least that ghost was the one that managed to revive Denji because if that ghost hand didn't go on over and pull Pochita's tail then yeah they would have just taken him and that would have been that. Although Makima would have done probably everything in her power to make sure that they didn't just take his corpse anyways. All right, if you want to watch this unedited with me, make sure you head on over to my website, suzylu.co.uk, or head on over to my Patreon. The link, it's in the description. Let's go! Episode 10. Wait! Wait, what? What am I missing here? How? Okay. Do you know what? We don't need an explanation. He's just chilling there with his apple. All right. You ran like a little bitch, so no apples for you. <laughs> and that's where you're wrong, for I did not run. I went home because I grew hungry. Stop lying, you scaredy fiend. Wait, wait, wait. And you left Aki there? Because you were hungry. Huh? <laughs> Who lived from Division 4? Well, there's a couple of people left, but I had to score quite a few out of my notes. Yeah. Miss Makima was asking for me and Powie, so we're gonna bounce. We came to eat your get well free. Nothing more. <laughs> Wait, no, come on. Leave a couple, at least. He just lost his partner. Leave them. See ya. I don't understand how he is back to feel human, but who am I? I'm not gonna ask any more questions. Curse. How many years do I have left? Two. Two? No! And it wasn't even worth it because the curse didn't work. Yeah. 
Now you can either appreciate those two years or you can smoke yourself to death. This is it. This is when he cries for her. It kind of breaks my heart. I come back for my manga and the dude's crying. Come on. Have a little bit of sympathy for the guy. Wait. Huh? I haven't, like, cried at all. But I don't feel nothing for Himino. Huh. That is kind of weird because she was your first kiss, technically, and she was really quite kind to you. What if Miss Makima died? I know for a fact he would cry if she died, but it's whether or not he would cry for the right reasons. Would he cry because he didn't get his first love, you know, or because he genuinely cared? Maybe when I lost my human heart, I also lost my human emotions. Maybe you're more like a demon than you actually realize. Pardon the intrusion. Hey there. Were you just crying? men not allowed to cry leave him alone he lost his partner you don't need to mention it nice apple there can i have it coach oh my god so he has denji go in he has power go in they take his full basket of apples and then those two go in and he's like mm, nice apple could i have that it's like <laughs> I don't know. I understand that they have to deal with a lot in this world. You know, there's crazy things that happen. Partners seem to die quite often. So this isn't uncommon. But it's like all their sympathy is just kind of like stripped out of them. She wasn't wrong when she said that Aki was like a special one. Because he seems to be the only human one there. Are you saying you're going to train us yourself? Sadly, my plate's a bit too full to add in training sessions, but that's why we're in the cemetery. I'm introducing you to someone ideal for the job. Wait, what do you mean? They're... Oh my god! I thought they were introducing us to a grave! <laughs> Isn't that the guy that she was talking to? Do either of you want revenge? That ain't my scene. Shit's super depressing. Verily. Humans or devils, which side are you on? Ooh, uh, humans, I guess. Should I have taken a side or was that wrong? Know what you just got? Perfect scores. Huh? Types like you two are few and far between. This is great. I love it. Well, he did kind of say that he doesn't want people that have any issues, any attachments or anything. So he can just use them. I'm a public safety hunter from Special Division 1. You get a real kick out of being called Master, so that's how you're gonna refer to me. Yes, Master, I guess? Huh? Awkward. Power's like, don't touch me? Okay, I thought he killed them. Is he killing them? Dare, let them go? Okay, we get it. You're also very strong and very much in control. Biologically, your skeletal and muscle structures are like any humans. A broken neck leaves both our kinds paralyzed. What sets you devils apart, though? I smell blood. So he just snapped both their necks? This guy's crazy! What kind of training is this? Damn it. Wait, is that how Denji came back? The blood? That was just me training you kiddos up like Makima asked. Not sure why, but the gun devil has its sights set on your heart. So the fact that you're a scrub who consistently gets his ass handed to him is a problem. 
I don't like the fact that the gun devil is after our little Poochie. I don't like it. See, I'm the best devil hunter in the world. Any devil that can take down a powerhouse like me would be a powerhouse too. So until you're strong enough to make me beg for mercy, it's open season on both your asses. I mean, if you're the strongest then, why haven't you taken out the gun devil? Where were we? He's a drunk geezer, but they'll arrest us if we kill him. Stingy. Oh my god! He's gonna knock you both out in one in one hit as soon as he does. Oh no kidding! What the hell? Well, I'm starting to realize that these guys can just take anything. Cause they've just died again. Just you wait. By the time I'm finished with you two, you'll be a pair of serious badasses. Can you give them some more blood now, please? They're they're bleeding out a little bit over there. Oh. His fox isn't coming out. We're consulting the humans in the special division about their careers. Rude as this may sound, don't you think it's a good time to hang up the suit and call it quits? Someone else from Squad 4 thought as much and already went private. Considering he has just lost his partner, he's got two years left to live. He might as well go live his life. Will you resign and enjoy what life you've got left to live? Or stay and learn the true meaning of the word hell? And we're never gonna get the fox back, is that what you're saying? Because it was cute! Oh. You have yet another visitor. Well, I'm glad he didn't steal his apple anyway. What? If he's looking like that, then that's his partner coming in, right? There's no one else that would make him look like that. See, I was thinking that everyone had died and that they were going in a really weird direction with this show, but I guess I was wrong. Gladly, too. Oh! That's your feeble brain broken again! Heal! 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 Power, that's not how you help people! Not that I would expect her to understand. Howie, how many times did I die? At least 20 that I witnessed. Whenever you were slain, I was usually unconscious as well, so there's really no telling. So that's interesting to me, I'll need to write that down, that he said that Denji is immortal. I mean, I remember when he lost his arm, they had to like sew it back on. But yeah, so I, I find it confusing the losing his bottom half. But I do know! Know what? A scheme to defeat the heinous Tosspot! He's a mighty foe to be sure. However, the dram he consumes rots away his intellect. Hence, we should make use of ours to overcome the lush, yes? I mean, it is quite easy to outwit a drunk person. Lately, I've been thinking about how sweet it'd be to fight like a brainy character in a manga. We shall completely trounce him in a war of wits. <laughs> uh, we live in one of these apartments, I think. This blood scent is familiar. The souse, he approacheth. This I gotta see. Like, he is the strongest, remember? He's the strongest. He would expect this to happen. Nah, they're not gonna win here. There's no way. Oh! Yo! No! I told you guys! That is insane! Just the way, like, Dodged back like that. This guy is so freaking cool, I can't deal. Come on guys, two brains is better than one. Oh. <laughs> no, not my intelligent glasses. He's gonna kill you again for that, you know this. Of getting me thus far. 
Just shows all manner of prey will use its head when cornered. Keep at it, kid. I still stand, though. If you are so strong, why don't you take out the gun devil? But all in all, a good try. So let's call it. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> hey, Powie. He said we're done for today. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of dying over there. She needs some blood! Uh-oh. You're never done. That's the problem. You let your guard down. Beasts should know better than to trust anything a hunter says to them. Exactly. So how many times has he killed him now? Because I have definitely lost count. But I need to know! Who did Aki see? You're aware we aren't making you do this out of cruelty or some twisted joke, right Aki? The minute you're ready to get back to work, you'll be jumping into a lion's den. You'll need a weapon to protect yourself. Yeah, and please not the sword, because you only have two years anyway. Like, that curse is just not worth when it. public safety captures a devil alive, they lock him up down here. Let's find you a fitting weapon. You know, it's interesting that they were actually on the news. I don't know why, but I thought that they were all like an underground company with hunting the devils. So for them to be on the news talking about what had happened, that surprised me. <laughs> Nothing was going to get Aki to quit. Like, there were so many times that she actually sat down at the table and was like, you know, we could always, you know, change what we're doing here. One gave half their lifespan. The other gave their senses of taste and smell, along with both their eyes. Oh. Hopefully it likes you and you'll get a bargain. Well then, back to you. If it likes to take your eyeballs, I don't think I'm going to like what this thing looks like. Does he have to get locked in with it? Make sure you keep the door open. Just in case. Okay, they didn't. That's nice. Thank you for that. That really scared me. I thought that noise was over there. <laughs> like, well, hello. <laughs> Oh, let me see. We're gonna have to wait. Gosh darn it, you guys. Right, I feel like I learned quite a lot in that episode. I'm not entirely sure if I was supposed to know it already, but I definitely learned a lot. It kind of focused quite heavily on Denji regenerating as well as power and the fact that he has died over and over and over and he's still going. It's interesting that they were talking about him being immortal as well. I mean, maybe if that is true, I'm just kind of putting this out here. If that is the case, maybe that's why the gun devil wants him so he can have his heart so that the gun devil can then be immortal. I think that kind of makes the most sense because nobody wants to die, basically. And Makima knows that eventually more and more people are going to be coming for them. And let's be real, Power and Denji are the craziest two mofos that you have ever seen. I feel like Power, she just likes to mess around all the time she's very immature not in a bad way i love her personality i just think that she's quite immature and that can be very dangerous like if she was to get strong enough to take out the gun devil we better make sure that we can keep her under control after this and what the heck what is this new contract that he is going to be signing. So we found out that he only has two years left to live and he, he put the cigarette away. So good for him. I'm glad he did that. And people ask me quite often, they're like, why are you so against cigarettes? And I mean, that should be obvious in itself, but I actually have a family that smokes and I grew up 
around that. I just hated it. You know, I blah, just nasty. And my clothes always stunk and I was so happy when I eventually moved out of the house because people used to think that I smoked and I didn't. I just stunk all the time. So yeah, I'm excited to see what this new thing is gonna be. And I'm really sad to say goodbye to the fox, but Aki did kind of put the fox in a really bad situation. And ultimately that thing with the swords and all that kind of broke out of him. Yeah, I I've gotta say I wouldn't be too happy about that either. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my reaction to this episode and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.